Hey everyone, so today we'll be talking about the Azure DP900 exam, the Azure Data Fundamentals, which I took back in October 2020. And yeah, this is just my study guide on how I prepared for the exam. And hopefully it'll help you guys to prepare for yours. So yeah guys, uh, let's talk about the Microsoft DP900 exam, which is the Azure Data Fundamentals. So according to the Microsoft, candidates for the Azure Data Fundamentals certification should have foundational knowledge of core data concepts and how they are implemented using Microsoft Azure Data Services. And think, um, it is pretty broad um, when kind of I did it and I only used the Microsoft Learn uh, for the preparation. I kind of didn't go with any like video based courses, but the good news is that uh, we do have a free course uh, from one and only Andrew Brown at Free Code Camp youtube channel uh, which i think was published like three days ago so you can utilize that to prepare but i think uh, microsoft learn does a pretty good job at uh, like i felt i was prepared for the exam anyways uh, just by doing the microsoft learn modules but yeah let's let's look into the um, certificate kind of outline uh, from Microsoft. So for the skills measured uh, is therefore uh, describe core data concepts, describe how the work with, oh sorry, describe how to work with relational data on Azure, describe how to work with non-relational data on Azure, and describe an analytical or analytics workload on Azure. So if you look at the uh, certification skills outline, this one basically is in depth uh, for those four points that Microsoft mentioned. Um, so the core data concepts cover 15 to 20% of your exam. And then the relational data side of things cover 25 to 30. And I think it's same for the non-relational data. Um, also the analytics workload is 25 to 30%. So if we dive a bit deeper into these, um, you can kind of see the what are the core data workloads. And I think the me being not like from the data background, like this particular uh, section was a bit tricky, but I I'm glad Microsoft included it because like I don't know um, any of these terms before. Like I've heard them, but to just get an understanding of what batch data, streaming data, and other words mean, like ELT and ETL. So yeah, I think um, it's a pretty good exam if you're especially starting in, in data. And the other cool part is that you can possibly give this exam for free if you attend one of those virtual training days, which I'll talk later in the video about. Um, but yeah, basically, then you go through the relational data stuff of SQL, MySQL, and what other offerings Azure has for relational data. And then similarly for non-relational data, um, whatever the offerings Microsoft has for that too, or Azure, I meant to say. Um, but yeah, and then you get into analytics, uh, Azure Data Bricks, Synapse, Analytics, and then Data Factory, HD Insight. Um, I won't go more in depth because this is just a brief kind of video on how I prepared for the exam. So uh, the first step what I do is go through the skills measured and an outline uh, of the exam. And then, as I said, I just use the learn modules. Uh, so basically there are four kind of learning paths that has on average four to five modules each. And yeah, I think these were, like these are really, I, I, 
I feel like Microsoft Learn is like really good, especially for any of the exams. Um, but I have in the past did utilize some sort of video course either through a cloud guru or cloud academy, uh, Udemy, and you guys. But yeah, for this, I kind of um, went just through Learn or Microsoft Learn, and I was like, yeah, I think I. I'll do a good job on the exam. So yeah, I think uh, Microsoft Learn is pretty good um, and is my primary resource for Azure, any of the Azure exams. Um, but yeah, uh, for the course, as I said, uh, yeah, so Andrew just published his uh, free Azure Data, fun Data Fundamentals certification, DP900, full course to pass the exam, uh, on Free Code Camp's YouTube channel. I'll post the link down below. But yeah, it's a four hour course, so I haven't gone through it yet. Uh, but yeah, I think given the past uh, courses that I've taken for AWS or Azure uh, taught by Andrew, they were pretty good. So I'm, I'm pretty sure he did a good job. Um, yeah, basically, I also have a blog post uh, about how I passed the data fundamentals. And this is just basically uh, going to my resources that I used and basically what we are doing right now, uh, just in a written format. If uh, if you're keen, I'll, I'll post the link to the blog post down. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I passed this back in, um, October in 2020 so it's been it's been a while but I think uh, yeah if you go through Andrew's course and the Microsoft learning paths I think you would be you will be good uh, you will be well prepared um, also uh, so the virtual training days uh, so Microsoft does this uh, I think pretty often and you can see the calendar kind of you have so many availability or so many dates that are available in June and going forward. Uh, and basically they do this for the fundamentals, I think. I've, I haven't seen uh, any of the associate or expert level uh, trainings yet, but yeah, for the virtual training day, I think it's a two day event, one or two day event. Uh, and you just need to attend those events. And I think you get a free voucher to sit the exam which is awesome because I think the fundamental exams uh, cost $99, which can be a lot in some countries. Uh, and if you're able to save that $99, why not? And you are also attending like the training that Microsoft has for that particular exam. Um, but yeah, I think, I think you should totally register for this. And I think how they do it now, I know in the past, when you registered, uh, you would attend the training on the day and then two or three days later, they reach out to you with a voucher or code that you could put in your Pearson, uh, wherever you schedule your Microsoft exams. And uh, basically it would be a coupon for free exam. But now I think how they do it is you know, the email that you use to register here, um, is if if that's the email that your Pearson account is associated with, uh, it picks it up. You're like you don't need to wait for the coupon. As soon as you have attended the training, you go into your Pearson PSI. I think uh, I could be wrong, but yeah, I usually schedule my exams through Pearson View. So um, I just go in and when I select like DP nine hundred uh, to schedule. Um, I don't see the $99 charge, so that's pretty good because otherwise, like I remember last year, I had to wait for the voucher to come in the email and then schedule my exam. Um, but yeah, this is a good way to uh, save some money. And yeah, kudos to Andrew for publishing all these courses for free. And they're good quality, to be honest. I think he came out with two or three courses in the past week, if I'm not wrong, but yeah. Uh, go check it out and I hope I kind of gave you a brief overview of the exam and hopefully 
you'll pass it if you're setting it and good luck with your preparations.